We are the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. Our final country in this Southeast Asia tour is Vietnam. And after spending a couple of nights in downtown Hanoi, we decided to head back onto the water for a two-day luxury cruise through the spectacular Ha Long Bay. The only problem is that the company that booked our voyage has completely ghosted us and missed our morning pickup. So we've scrambled to rebook with another provider just hours prior to embarking. We have just three and a half hours to arrive at the dock and a three hour taxi ride to get there. So let's get started. Thank you. Ah, oh, welcome Frank. What a rigmarole. We are ready to catch a break. Seriously, ready to relax. Capella is known as one of the more luxurious cruise ships in Halong Bay, so we're really looking forward to have some of that relaxation time. It looks like we're drinking whiskey, which we should be after that little experience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cheers. Bottoms up, baby. But it's actually tea. Oh, oh very nice sweet tea. Welcome. So grateful that Capella had room for us because that happened so fast. And it was the concierge at Sofitel Legend Metropole that we were staying at that really put it all together for us. It was crazy when she told us that we were scammed. So we just had to rearrange everything in like 10, 15 minutes. This is not the ship we were supposed to be on today. We were originally booked a few months ago on La Pinta Cruises, but we were victims of fraud. There was a fake website created and it mimicked it almost identically. So we were fooled. We will tell you more about how to avoid situations like that later. But here we are, last minute plans. Capella was able to accommodate us and this is our new ship. So our ship today has five decks. Now the lower deck, is really just crew quarters in the kitchen, and then you've got some club-related things. That's why it's called the club deck. We have the karaoke and C Melody Theater down there, the cigar and poker club, and the spa. Basically anything that doesn't require window. Decks one, two, and three are for the staterooms. We're on the third deck right here in rooms 305 and 307. It's called the sky deck. Deck four is essentially a huge lounge. It's gonna be the main area where you would eat and just hang out. And then on the sun deck, up on five, is where you have mini golf and just the areas to hang out in the open air. We are ready to get cruising. Our ship is out there in the bay already, and we're gonna be taking smaller boats to get out there. So our time is at 12, 10. We have about 30 minutes until that boat takes us to the big one. But we already have our room numbers. Since it was a last minute deal for us, we have two separate rooms and Phil and I are gonna split up again. We haven't discussed that, so I'm not sure. However it turns out, we have two different rooms. Your room key comes in the form of a bracelet, so we already get to wear those. And you saw us have a welcome drink. There's a nice little lounge here that we can wait in or we can walk around as long as we're here on time for our specific departure time. Time to get on the little boat to take us to our bigger boat. And it's inside. Some of these boats are really open, so uh, I was worried the kids are gonna be too cold out here. I see our bags right there. I wonder how long this ride is. Oh, that was a good one. How long? She wonders how long our cruise will be. I don't know about that one. Cold likes my joke. That's my Sky Valley suitcase that weighs itself so there are no surprises at the ticket counter. Link below. It's a 25 minute ride on the tender to get to the boat and that is the perfect time to go over the schedule and the safety protocols. But I should say this is a very short cruise. It is only two days and one night. So we're actually leaving tomorrow. What are you doing to me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I love that the boat has a turquoise bottom because it's the color of Phil's eyes. My favorite color. Welcome aboard. Thank you. There's a hot tub and it's steaming. Oh, that's how we like our hot tubs. Since we got our keys and we saw the map, we pretty much know exactly where our rooms are already. 305 and 307. I assume that our bracelets are just like a boop. Ah, it worked. Oh, it's big. Look at this balcony here. Every room has a balcony. I'd like to think we're special, but everyone has this. We love being on the water. And this is gorgeous. Halong Bay has over 2,000 islands in it. But this isn't just Halong Bay. We're right in the middle of two. Halong Bay over here 
and Lan Hat Bay that direction. They bring our luggage in for us, so we don't have to lift a finger. There must be probably a couple of dozen other cruise ships out here. So it looks a little bit crowded right now, but everybody's sitting still. And within a half an hour or so, I think, we're gonna, we're gonna head out underway, start cruising the bays, and then they're probably gonna be more spread out. In the room, we've got a king-size bed. It looks like there's a dead kiddo on it. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> so we have a little desk area here. There is a mini bar. Anything in it? Ooh. Yeah. Some coffee. There are other places to get coffee on the ship as well. <gasps> I was not expecting this. There is a big, lovely, beautiful bathtub. I love it. So you have the shower area and the tub is in the shower area. And we also have a sitting lotus child in the bathtub. And if we open the blinds, what a nice view while you're taking your bath. Sometimes a better view for the people outside than whoever's in the bathtub. Don't worry, we're not shy. So we have the toilet over here and the single sink there, and and we have some robes. Be wearing those around here. This is the closet. It Ooh. is uh it. Oh, look at that. We have slippers. They mentioned we would have slippers. Those are just for in the room. And we're not too worried about the closet and unpacking because again, we're only here one night. Okay, what's over here? Yeah, there's a safe. So you can lock up your passports, your cash, all the valuables, uh, and jewelry, because you don't want to go out in the salt water with it. And some shelves. And that's it. The other room is identical, so we got two of these. We assume it's identical. We haven't seen it yet. Hey, we don't have far to go. Right next door. Oh, bags are here. Oh, awesome. People it's assuming they're having a kid's room. Good. All right, straight away to lunch now. We just have to find the restaurant. Thank you. More two. Thank you. Easy directions. Some more welcome drink cinnamon tea. Just welcome drink cinnamon tea. Buffet, that's my favorite. We have some sushi up here and salmon. Oh, we have to tell Brooklyn about the salmon pieces. Mixed fried rice. Mixed fried rice. Halong Bay grilled squid. We're officially underway. The boat is moving and uh, everybody is, wow, the kids are already up there for seconds at the buffet. Everybody eats in the same dining room. It fits all guests. There are only about 30 rooms. So I think this boat probably only sleeps about 60 people maximum. So it's not a very big ship. It's perfect size to enjoy other people around you and have full access to all the amenities. Yeah, based on the fact that we just got our room here a few hours ago, booked it a few hours ago, tells me there may still be some vacancies in the stateroom, so it's not actually a full guest list. Let's go explore the ship. Thank you. See you later. Ooh, careful, babe. Here we are on the fourth floor. Ooh, I almost tripped too. Look at these views. And up to the sun deck. Not too much sun on the sun deck today. They also have mini golf up here. Not too much mini golf on the mini golf here today either. There are just three holes. It's more of a putting green. A lot of these limestone mountains have names based on the way they look. And we've got to take a guess as to what this one is called up here. What do you think it's called, guy? The wave rock. A wave rock. Uh, hook? I think it looks like a Smurf's hat. I'm with Colt. I think it's called wave rock. But we're going to have to ask somebody who works here so we can get the answer. It said at 2.15 we would stop at Frog Lagoon. Lagoon. So apparently this is Frog Lagoon. Say Frog Lagoon again. Frog <laughs> Lagoon. <laughs> Let's go down to deck four. It's the first time I've seen the elevator. This is the Spirit of the Sea Lounge and we're the only ones in it right now. They're starting the water activity soon, so we're gonna have to pick which water activity we're gonna do. There's sea kayaking, you can hang out by the pool, and the most interesting of all, the water slide. Brooklyn has promised to go down. Let's hold her to it. Going to the side, we're going to the side. He's letting us in early. Early access. <laughs> Through the engine room. Actually, I think this is the anchor room. It's okay. Tom, what were the stats again? 1.6 seconds for 8.5 meters. That sounds pretty fast. <laughs> Once they commit, there's no turning back. They're getting in that water. Tom said that Capella is the only line that does the slide, so we scored. Oh, it's cold! Uh, are you gonna go again, Brooklyn? No, it's so cold. Off to the hot tub? Yes. It's the coldest water I've ever been. Off to the hot tub. 
We are done with the slide and now we're hopping in the hot tub. Oh my god, my toes! Oh, my pinkies! Oh, my toes are. They're burning! I just asked Tom what the name of that rock was and guess what, babe? Smurf Hat Island? No, you really want that one to be the answer. <laughs> Wave Rock! Ah, I knew it was gonna be the most logical one. He's going down swimming up to the glass and going hang ten. Way to go, bud. Well done. At your service. Let's get these kids cleaned up. Let me interrupt with a quick update from the future. It turns out that our original La Pinta booking wasn't exactly a scam. What happened was we Googled La Pinta Cruises and clicked on a result that was misleadingly similar to the website for La Pinta Cruises, but turns out was actually just for a sales affiliate business. And they're the ones who ghosted us. Luckily, we got our money back right away, but not all snafus are resolved so quickly and easily. Illnesses, emergencies, cancellations, inclement weather, and being ghosted by Halong Bay Cruise Affiliates are just a few of the things that we worry about a whole lot less knowing that we're covered by a robust travel insurance policy. We have a dedicated page on our website at followabc.com slash travel insurance that outlines this as a key component of our travel model and offers a way to run your own quick quote. If you have an upcoming trip that you're sinking some good cash into, or if you spend a big chunk of the year traveling like we do, take three minutes to enter a few details and see if you can protect your investment. We'll also throw this link into the description. Before happy hour, we wanted to pop down to the very first deck and check out some of these rooms, like the cigar room. Cigar and poker room. Cigar and poker room, yeah. So I guess this is where the gambling happens and the smoking happens, and you can smell it. It really smells like cigars in here. Got all the fitness area over here with a treadmill and a bicycle. Cardio only, no weights in there. And this is a fun room in here. Kids already discovered it. Hello, Brooklyn. I am subscribers. Nope. You are watching Always Be Changing. And this is a spa over here. It's actually two massage rooms. You can get either massage or facials. Hello. Hello. You have the locker yeah. on your yeah, yeah. yeah. Hello, welcome to Vietnam. Thank you. This is Phil's favorite hour. It's happy hour. When our kids are putting on a little dance party, we're still the only ones here. To be fair, it doesn't start until 5 o'clock and it is 5.02 right now. So I'm sure it's going to get hopping very soon. But two for one, happy hour, drink specials. We are always, always the first ones at a party. Every time. And the first ones to leave the party. Excuse me? Do you do Shirley Temples? Two, two please. Yes, please. Yeah, it's like a like Shirley it. Temple with lime and mint. It's like a Shirley Temple mojito. Virgin, virgin mocktail. That is totally like a mocktail mojito. Cruising low and slow like this really reminds me of our river cruise through France, which I think was also Aaron and my last date night which was about two years ago, right? Legit, that is the last time we had like real one-on-one -on -one time. It was definitely the last vacation we had together. Two years, coming up on two years. Guys, dinner's not for another two hours, so if you're hungry, get some snacks up there. I see some fruit. There's a woman out here that keeps coming up to the boat, circling around it. I saw her when we were in our room earlier and she just has a boat full of snacks and she's sort of like looking up, like asking people if they want to buy any snacks from her. I even saw wine in her boat. I think that's kind of an interesting concept knowing that we're eating snacks and drinks and there's wine here. So I wonder what the logic behind that is. They have a cooking demonstration outside and Cole really wants to do it. It's spring rolls. They're gonna have us make our own spring rolls. I get to make my own spring rolls? I think they're called nem here. I don't know if that's all spring rolls, crispy spring rolls or not, but that's what we experienced on our street food tour last night. So N-E-M, nem. Since it's cold out, they pre-mixed the filling for it and she's just demonstrating, showing Cole how to roll it. That would be the professional version. Guess who's making dinners at home when we get back home? Now they just need to fry up and we'll eat them inside where it's warm. It's cold. So inside is a bunch of veggies, but most importantly, it's 
pork in there. I'm surprised to hear you say that because I would think that maybe the most important ingredient was the black fungus. Isn't that what she said? The black fungus, that's mushroom. But this is just an appetizer. We still have to go to dinner. Cool, you did a great job. That's really good. It's time for dinner. Let's get started. Hello. Hello. For dinner, it's not a buffet this time. We have a menu and it's one, two, three, four, five courses. First course is a seafood soup and it looks a lot like tomato soup with some shrimp in it. Our second course is the chef's secret salad and the secret is smoked duck. Third course are these giant prawns. Actually, we've seen bigger in Donsol at Juliet's. Barracuda. The main course is a pan seared sea bass with a passion fruit sauce. And it's really good. This is banana flambe with rum and ice cream. Basically, a banana sauce. Now that we have finished eating, let's go catch some food. Whatever Squid Cold catches tonight, the chef will cook it up for breakfast tomorrow morning. Because Squid is a breakfast thing here. I guess. He's already at it already. So here's the lure that they're using to catch the squid. Pretty basic, actually it looks like a little green squid. I don't know if anyone's catching anything. I haven't seen a single squid down there and haven't seen anybody pull any up. Colt might be going hungry for breakfast. I think it's a sign he got his, his fishing line caught up with somebody else's. I think it's a sign we should call it a night. I'm going in empty handed. <laughs> it's bedtime. All right, we have more stuff planned tomorrow, but we're gonna call it a night because it's been a really long and somewhat stressful travel day. So we are hitting the sack. We missed the cave. I feel so bad Colt wanted to do the cave so badly, but I've been sick all night and all morning. Not fun stuff. She said that the dinner last night didn't really sit well with her. And really, her sickness could be from any number of things. Like, really, fairly, it could have been from a bug anywhere. But there's always that chance. This experience itself is pretty cool. I mean, it's just beautiful geology out there. And the staff work their butts off to give you a really good experience. It does come up short in a couple of areas. And we only really bring this up because we don't want people to watch this episode and think, oh, the Lockwoods had a perfect time there, so we should copy it and then come do the same trip and come up disappointed. But the reality is housekeeping here, it could be improved. The water bottles that they ask you to use so that you'd minimize the use of plastics, pretty dirty, so we didn't even want to touch those. Uh, for some reason, it looks like the robes hadn't been washed since the last time, so. Somebody's at the door. Let's see who it could be. Time for brunch. Oh, all right, come on in. Well, we're gonna get packed up because we have to put our luggage outside of the door at nine o'clock. Brunch starts at 9.30. Hopefully Aaron feels a little bit better by then because we do have a long travel day ahead of us today. It's a beautiful day, beautiful morning. It's such a shame to be sick during it, but it really is so pretty. How Long Bay is something really different, unique, and really visually beautiful. All right, we gotta check out and get some brunch. To settle our bill because the food is included, the drinks are not. Okay, so we are almost all checked out, except that the internet is down for them so they can't run a credit card, so we do need to go back and square up the bill. On that note, Wi-Fi is pretty much non-existent on the boat, as you would expect in most situations like this, so definitely don't come on board thinking you're gonna get any work done because you almost certainly will not. But now it's time for brunch. My favorite thing about this trip are the views. The scenery is really beautiful. It's something special. My favorite thing is probably the slide. The slide, yeah. That was fun watching them go down. Mine was probably the cooking class because those are the best spring rolls I've ever had. My favorite part of the trip was watching the kids have fun, going down the slides, doing the cooking, and all with this magnificent backdrop. It really offered a lot of value to come on this one night cruise, and I'm glad we did. And now it is time to disembark. So that's it for our 24 hours. Yep, that's it for our 24 hours. <laughs> Still not feeling well. Still plenty more adventures coming your way, so don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along. Bye bye. Bye Tom. Bye Tom Cruise. We are the Lockwoods. Aaron, Phil, Reagan, Brooklyn, and Cole. We're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise be consuming only through textbooks and TV. 
We think it's a better way to learn, and we're working hard to fund this little experiment in the hope that our kids will grow up wiser, kinder, and more grateful for the beauty of our diverse planet and its people. <laughs> we're about to do the brother and sister handshake. Do it. <laughs> the last word. Final word. I'm sorry, what? <laughs>